Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day two of designing an island in 30 days with no Nintendo online. If this is the first episode you're watching I highly recommend checking out the very first episode which goes a little bit more in detail about the challenge but basically here are the rules. I cannot use any features associated with the Nintendo online subscription or the Happy Home Paradise DLC. I am allowed to time travel however and I must finish in 30 IRL days. I'm not going for perfection I'm just aiming to finish finish the goals, which are to have 10 villagers that I like, each with their own decorated yard, fully upgrade and decorate each building, and have at minimum 5 other builds complete. So those are the rules, those are the goals, let's get into day 2. We are here on day 2 of LAC, our 30 day island. Uh, Cat is ready for Halloween, apparently, with that spooky umbrella. Some stunning news! We're moving forward with the construction of the museum. Also, my staff, Timmy and Tommy, opened up their new shop today. It's a small shop, but they'll change stock daily. It's time for our daily routine. Gonna check my mail, look for my message in a bottle, order my five items, plant my money tree, and shake some trees. I suppose you overheard that call I just got. Yes, it was very suspicious. Ooh, we have three interested parties. That's great. All right, here's our three homes that we gotta do. Oh, this is the most tedious part. This is this is pretty bad. I will do it for you, Tom Nook, and only you, but I'm not gonna like it as if I have a choice. As if I have a choice. So yesterday I collected Gulliver's communication parts and they turned into rusted parts today. So I'm gonna see how much that sells for and if that's gonna be like a viable method to like making some extra money. It is not. Okay, no, it's, it's not. <laughs> I'm gonna buy this little ball because this is a pretty good generic beach item that I feel like you can use like with any theme. I'll definitely buy some of these recipes if I don't have them already. Okay, so we have our little bridge construction kit. I have all the materials except for the log stakes let me see we need three wood for each of those and we need how many again four so we need 12 pieces of wood gonna go get that really quick make our little bridge put the bridge down we'll be done okay here we go i decided to put the bridge over here just would be the most convenient spot for me to access that other side of the beach really we got some nook miles because i made some furniture and now let's go see what tom nook has to say once again once again this is another day of just go do something for tom nook go talk to him go do something for tom nook go talk to him it's the same cycle okay we have the three plots i'm gonna go ahead and start placing them all on the beach i'm not gonna make the same mistake again oh goodness wait these don't even fit on the beach do they oh my goodness okay whatever this is good enough i think i'm gonna take it one at a time i'm gonna place down one plot and then do the items for that plot so just kind of like take it slow that way i don't get confused like ah oh, which items go to which plot and like have to double check everything all the time this is what we're gonna be focusing on today Let's see what we need for this. We need an orange clock, orange end table, and a pot. All right, um, we just need some more wood and some oranges. So I'm gonna gather that up really quick. There's some oranges right here. You really need so many oranges for these freaking recipes. Like why do I need 10 oranges for a clock? Okay, well, anyway, those are finished. Let's go turn these in. Now for the exterior items, we need a stone stool, stone table, and a clothesline. Okay, stone stool, stone table have enough stone for those and have everything for a clothesline easy peasy oh amazing oh there's a balloon stop shaking the tree stop it <laughs> oh my goodness please give me the balloon thank you five clay you know what honestly i'll take it like resources are very much welcome and appreciated at this point here's your clothesline your table and your stool all right everything's ready to go perfect now that was pretty easy <laughs> i kind of doubt that the next two are going to be as easy let's let's see we'll just put it up here oh my goodness tom nook is such a little babysitter come on i know i know what to do okay thank you for the ladder recipe you know i i appreciate it never mind i take back what i said what do we need for the interior we need a wooden block stereo wooden block table and a lily wreath okay Okay, submitted all of the interior items. And now let's check the exterior items. Oh my goodness, that took me actually a long time because I had to harvest so much softwood. Iron garden table, iron garden chair, and a birdhouse. Oh no, that means we need iron. No! Okay, so we do only need eight pieces. That's not too bad. 
And then for the birdhouse, I need two wood and five softwood, of course. I, I have been trying to get so much freaking softwood. Those wooden block items took so much softwood. I've been having to vault all over my island to look for things. It's been, you know, it's just been fantastic. Oh, we have a bucket. Yes. I love a good bucket. Okay. After much more chopping of the trees. Oh my goodness. I have chopped so many trees. I have used so many axes. Why is softwood like super rare? I don't get it. I, I swear like I'm getting all of the other ones way more. We are done. All right. Last one. Honestly. Okay. You know what? This wasn't that bad. I feel like the 30 iron nuggets is kind of worse. Um, I'm really hoping whatever is in the, this next plot does not require stupid freaking softwood because I will scream. Wooden simple bed, wooden simple chair, classic pitcher. Okay, I think that makes... I think that takes regular wood, please. <laughs> Come here, balloon. Stop shaking the tree. Oh my goodness. It's this thing. You know what? I'll take it. It's for the it's for the three stars journey. It's just for decorating the island. Okay, done. Done with the interior. Now let's check the exterior once again. Log garden lounge, log stool, and a water pump. All right, all done. Ready to go. That means all the prep is done. Everything's finished. Goodness, really? You're welcome. A token of your appreciation. Fences! Yay! Thank you, Tom. How's the home loan looking, by the way? I know we have to... Don't we have to pay this off? I'm pretty sure we have to pay this off. Um, I'm gonna put in 10k. Okay, so I guess let's put some fencing everywhere because that also contributes to the three-star island rating that Isabel will give us at some point. So I'm gonna try to put it in, like, areas that are not you know, gonna obstruct my everyday life on these rocks. I never go on these rocks, so this should be fine, hopefully. Okay, so I think that kind of concludes what we have to do on this day. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up and we're gonna get started with tomorrow's tasks. We got bow today. Also, we have our museum. It has a customization workshop. Cool, cool. And uh, no announcement of the random person who is set up right beside him. Cool. Okay, before we get into all of our daily activities, it's time for the daily routine. Gonna check the mailbox, gonna look for my bottle on the beach, plant that money tree, shake some trees. And I guess today part of the routine is um checking out what Mabel has. I'll definitely buy some socks. So I guess we'll just have to wait until she comes back again. Oh, hello. Hi. It's maybe time to give Lack a little more personality. Ooh, what's this? I know that you know where the utility pole ought to go. Oh, a utility pole? Well, thanks. All right. I'll take it. That can go right back here. Thank you so much, Cat. That was... You know what? That makes up for Cat in the last episode not giving me a gift. Oh, we also have Harvey. Oh, we definitely need to unlock his island because that way we can customize items. And then this should be Marina. Yep, Marina's also going to move in. So we do have one more plot. I wonder which one is it that Bo moved into? Oh my goodness. No way. We got auto-filled with Winnie. Again, this happened exactly on my last island. That is so funny. Winnie is really just my soulmate, you know? She, uh, she always makes her way onto my islands, apparently. Okay, so next, I don't think there's much for us to do. So it is Saturday today. I think I'm gonna time travel to tomorrow so that Winnie moves in and we have turnips tomorrow. And then we can try to make some big bucks with turnips. Let's, let's try to do that so we can pay off our loan pretty quick. Let's just jump straight into the daily routine. I checked my mail. I planted that money tree. I found my bottle on the beach, ordered those five items, and shook my trees. I found Red walking around on my island, so I said hi to him and made a mental note to come back later, because I also saw Daisy May, which was, you know, the goal. I went ahead and invested all of the money that I currently had on me into turnips, hoping that we could get a really big turnaround maybe even double our money so that's the current goal that i'm going for and after talking with daisy may rory gave me a manhole cover and i went back to red ship to buy some 
the artwork, but I realized I had zero money because I spent all of it on turnips. I had to do a little bit of grinding, you know, get those seashells, get those oranges, shake those trees, and go and sell everything to Timmy and Tommy for big, big bucks. Thankfully, I made enough to go back and buy that statue, so I was able to get that and have it come in the mail the next day. I thought it would be a good idea to also pick all of my flowers and just sell them just sell picked flowers because I didn't have any recipes yet to use these picked flowers. So I sold them along with some other random stuff, made another decent chunk of change, and then went and spent that chunk of change on more turnips. Yep. I was just hustling to make money at this point, so I went and caught just like a bunch of bugs. So many bugs. Made a little bit more money, and then I went ahead and time traveled to the next day. Got an exciting update about resident services, and now it's time for another daily routine. I checked my mail, I planted that money tree, ordered my items, got my message in a bottle, and shook those trees. This was the first day that I could check turnip prices, and I was met with a very measly 43 bells per turnip so i did save and quit and i just time traveled a little bit later in the day because if you didn't know the price actually changes after 12 p.m you know after noon so the second price was 40 bells per turnip it was just getting worse besties so i knew i was going to time travel a bit more in this episode so i went ahead and just started gathering more fruit you know just doing those boring daily basic tasks to get miles and get bells and just clean up the island and, you know sold some fruits and I decided to reward myself with the tool ring because I deserve it and I hated going in my inventory and selecting the tool to use and I also rewarded myself with the log fence you know we're treating ourselves today. I wrapped it up for the day and the next day resident services was closed, but that's okay because we're gonna do our daily routine. I checked my mail, I got my message in a bottle, I shook my trees, I planted my money tree, and I could not order my five items because resident services was closed. I did say hi to Winnie though, it was nice to see a familiar face. And then I went and checked Nook's Cranny for the morning turnip prices, which were 35 bells per turnip. It was getting really bad. It was, I was, I was losing hope. I was losing hope. I also wanted to mention that I was tracking all of these prices in a turnip tracker website. I will put it on the screen and I'll put it in the description. This is the one I was using. Once you start putting all of the information in, it kind of like predicts possible patterns and predicts possible amounts that you can get. So it's really helpful for knowing when the best time to sell is. And I was pleasantly surprised to find that the afternoon price was 103 bells per turnip. It jumped up a little bit and I was getting really, really excited. So I was like, okay, we'll probably get another really good price tomorrow. So after selling a bunch more stuff to make some more money, I attempted to time travel to the next day, but what I didn't notice is that I only changed the time, not the date. So I actually went backwards in time, and when I logged in, my turnips were spoiled because you cannot go backwards in time when you have turnips. I immediately closed the game hoping it wouldn't save, but when I logged back in and did it properly and went forwards in time, they were still spoiled spoiled so I don't know what happened I don't know what I did wrong it was a very sad day I lost all that money that I put into these turnips <sighs> it is a very sad day so we're gonna do our daily routine very sad I checked my mail I shook my tree I got my bottle I ordered my items and I was so devastated from this loss that I forgot to plant my money tree but at least we had an upgraded resident services and Tom Nook said that he wanted to open up a campsite to get some more villagers which I was very excited but also very scared for because my very first campsite experience ever was the most traumatizing for me, so I'm afraid of repeat happenings, you know? So anyway, I had to go and get materials to make this campsite so we can put it down and get our mystery villager. So I was doing my rocks, hitting my rocks, got a gold nugget, but sadly it wasn't enough. All the rocks on my island were not enough, so I did have to use a Nook Mile ticket, and I went to a Nook Mile island, demolished all the rocks there, and thankfully, after I slurped up all their resources, I had enough materials to go back home and make the campsite and i went ahead and gave it a nice new home on the beach to wrap up the day i donated some fossils to blathers sold one last inventory of things to timmy and tommy including that gold nugget went ahead and started placing all of the random items i had been accumulating throughout the day on my island this is how you get three stars easily and that is gonna be it for today thank you so much for joining me on today's journey it was 
a wild one for sure. The turnip loss of August 2022 was definitely devastating, and we will get past it, albeit difficultly. But thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you're enjoying this. I am enjoying it as much work as it is for me, but it's been really, really fun, and I can't wait until we unlock terraforming because I am just gonna go ham. So if you're liking this series so far, I would super duper appreciate a thumbs up on this video. Tell me that you like it. Leave me a comment down below. Follow me on my social medias if you're if you're interested and definitely if you like animal crossing content feel free to subscribe normally i am not this frantic in my islands normally i take it way more slow so if you want to check out my other island playlists i do have other islands that i'm working on at a much more slower pace and you can check out let's plays and builds for those islands if you're curious and if you need something to watch while you're waiting for the next episode to come out so thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one